It's my first time in the Black Abbey and it's such a privilege to get to play here. It's a perfect acoustic and it's just stunning when you walk in. It's took my breath away. It's an incredible place and just, I, this is another secret hidden gem in Kilkenny that I hadn't come across before. Well, the slow air on a cocoon is a slow air I would have learned actually when I was very young, probably from my dad. It's a song about a ship sinking, a boat really, not, a sh not even a ship, sinking off the coast of Clare. And then the reel is the maids of Mitchellstown. And I got that from the playing of the great Dublin fiddle player, Tommy Potts, and then added a few of my own modifications to it.
My lockdown was a bit strange because I was diagnosed with cancer at the end of 2019. So my COVID lockdown actually didn't seem so bad because so much of life had been put into perspective. Um, you know, cervical cancer is something that kind of goes undetected for a long time. So I was very lucky that it was caught in time. But it meant that by the time I'd had some operations and things were kind of beginning to look up that um, when I got out of the hospital, I was very concerned about getting back to work and all of a sudden there was no work to go back to. So at the time it was very tough because I wanted to keep myself busy and I wanted to get back to doing normal things. But looking back in a way, I'm probably very lucky. I had the time off and I didn't go racing back into life at full speed. This Inescu piece is very special to me. I studied in Leipzig in the Hochschule for Musik und Theater, Felix Mendelssohn, with an incredible woman called Mariana Sirbu, who was the leader of the RTE quartet here for quite some time. And her teacher, Stefan Gergiu, in Romania himself studied with Inescu. This is the solo violin sonata, the first two movements. And again, for me, this music is tradition, it's family, it's love and learning. And that's what gets passed down. And um, the fact that this is a solo violin piece, it gives you so much freedom, but also kind of lets me give pay respect to a woman, Mariana, who has taught me so much, not just about music, but about life as well.
It's really hard not to have an audience because I miss the energy that people bring the minute they walk in that door. And when you get to play for somebody, it's a special moment because it's that one time in your life that you played that way that the audience kind of that you get to draw them in to how you feel on that day at that moment. And everybody celebrates that in a concert hall that moment where, where everything outside the concert hall, theatre, it could, could be a garden shed, could be anything. Time doesn't exist when you're watching art happen. And I miss that dreadfully. This festival cares so much about their audience. And, and to be in here today, it's, it's just, it's so special that Kilkenny Arts Festival is such a community-based festival in this city and it's so special to everybody you meet here. It's so inclusive and it's so important to the people here that you get to experience and explore parts of the city you would otherwise never get to see. The jigs, well Gareth Barry's would have been a favourite of my grandfather's. He grew up playing the box in North County Dublin, out in the RAF, um, and that's one of his favourite tunes. So I, I love to honour him with that. And again, it's a Tommy Potts version. And because I studied in Leipzig, I like to kind of blend both traditions that I grew up with. So Tommy Potts being the Dublin tradition, Bach being the Leipzig tradition, throw a bit of Bach in, and then maybe go me. back to Potts and take it home. And set.
I'm very well now at the moment. I'm cancer free and I'm in the best hands. I have an incredible team. I had an incredible surgeon and if anything changes, they'll make sure I'm okay.